First quarter action here at Lenby Valley High School in this pivotal Freedom Division showdown. And it's Greg Cooper of Lenby Valley busting in for the two yard loss, forcing a Hanover Park punt. Hanover Park would get the ball back, and the Hornets are on the move. It's quarterback Donato Casalaro zipping it to Eric Magnifico, who takes the hit but picks up 11 yards and a first down at the Lenby Valley 33. And the Hornets cap the drive here to watch June Aid. Olan Pecan bust through the big hole and then take off 31 yards for the touchdown. And Hanover Park has a 7-0 lead with 5.40 left here in the first quarter in this battle of undefeated teams. Lenby Valley has a lightning quick answer. Watch Pope John transfer Michael Josephs on his first carry of the season after sitting 30 days. Take it to the house on this electrifying 63-yard touchdown run. And we are tied at 7. Wow, talk about an entrance. Okay, Hanover Park is dropping again and watch Donato Casalaro find a wide open Rory DeLuca for the 24-yard touchdown and Hanover Park retakes the lead 14-7 after one quarter. Second quarter we go and Hanover Park goes to the air, but it's Steven Sylvester of Lenby Valley with the pick at the 24 and he takes it all the way back to the Hanover Park 11 thanks to a nice block from Mike Katz as Ryan George saves the touchdown for Hanover Park, which was huge as Lenby Valley would miss a field goal and remains 14-7 Hanover Park. Hanover Park once again is driving and once again the Pats get the pick to kill the drive. This time it's Kai Dickerson with the INT at the Lenby Valley 16. Then watch Dickerson with the nice 31-yard run on the sweep as he gets the edge and brings it out to the 48 for the Pats. The Lenby Valley would eventually punt and it remains 14-7. Hanover Park is looking to score before the end of the half, and it's Casalaro to Tomas Radomski, who makes the catch, shakes off the tackler, and he picks up 24 yards and a first down at the Lenape Valley 33. But the half comes to an end here. Watch Troy DuPont with the pick for Lenape Valley, but Hanover Park holds a 14-7 lead at the break. Lenape Valley starts the third quarter with a typical Lenape Valley drive, and the Pats cap it here. Watch Stevie Lydon wait for his blocks, and then take it in for the 12-yard score, and we are tied at 14 after three quarters of play. Nice block there by Richie Fritzke. All right, fourth quarter we go, still tied at 14. It's Junod, Oni Pecan right up the middle for 21 yards, and a first down to the Lenape Valley 36. And then watch quarterback Donato Casalaro on the keep, fight his way into the end zone from 10 yards out, dragging tacklers into the end zone, and Hanover Park goes back on top, 20 to 14 after the missed PAT with 9.30 left in the fourth quarter. Lenby Valley's putting a drive together here, but it comes to an end. Watch Mikhail Radomski with the pick, and he returns it 34 yards to the Lenby Valley 43. Big play there. All right, the Hornets are looking to run out the clock in Lenape Valley territory, but the ball squirts loose, and watch Stevie Lydon with a 70-yard scoop and score as he takes it to the house, and after his extra point, Lenape Valley has a 21-20 lead with 2.43 to go in the game. Oh my goodness, what a play by Lydon. All right, Hanover Park is facing a fourth and 16 after two false star penalties, and watch Donato Casalaro drop back and step up and connect with Anthony Oliveri for the huge 29-yard reception and a first down at the Lenape Valley 16 with 1.10 to go. What a clutch catch by Oliveri on fourth down. And then the Hornets cap the incredible comeback here. Watch Donato Casalaro with the perfect touch to Tomas Radomski for the game-winning 17-yard touchdown with 30 seconds left as Hanover Park stuns Lenape Valley 26-21 to go to 5-0 as Lenape Valley falls to 4-1. This is probably one of the craziest and most important games of my life. Uh, we all stayed together, we faced adversity, and we, uh, we won the game. That's all we wanted to do. It's always a war with Lenape Valley. Two years ago we lost, or we won by two points. Last year we lost by one point when I scored that touchdown with a minute left. This year it was an up and down battle throughout the whole game. Fumbles, interceptions, big blocks. We came up big, they came up big on some plays. It was uh, definitely a fun game. I always love playing them because it's never like an easy game where we blow them out. Um, it's always fun, like I said. Uh, this big win is, is incredible for us. We always enjoy it, uh, and we're already on to the next week. It's huge for our program. You know, Lenby Valley is a great football program, and anytime you get a win over them, it's an outstanding win. But the, more importantly, is the way we did it. You know, it was, we told the kids during the week it was going to take 48 minutes of football to win this game, and that's what they, they played every second here tonight. And, and I, my hats go off to our kids. They played their hearts out. They never quit. You know, we, we faced a lot of adversity, you know, some, some, uh, 
plays didn't go our way, you know, the fumble going, returning for a touchdown, you know, and, and then just stepping up and making two huge plays at the end to win it, you know, it, it was huge. What a whale of a high school football game this was. Lenby Valley takes the lead, Stevie Leiden on about a 70-yard scoop and score, and then Hanover Park gets the ball back with two minutes plus, and they go down on a winning drive. Coach just told me to play fast and just trust my ability, and uh, A.O. made it insane play on fourth down and we just all clicked at the right time with two minutes left. Then Hanover Park wins it, a big touchdown pass beautifully thrown by Donato Casalaro and Hanover Park holds on for the victory. The offensive line gave me great time. I was, I could have sat back there for longer but Tomas got open and I hit him. We practiced that a lot in practice. Um, our O-line blocked incredibly hard on that one. They, we knew what we had to do. 30 seconds left and after that big long fourth, uh, fourth and long catch by Oliveri, we know what we had to do, and uh, it definitely uh, definitely inspired me a little bit. I uh, came to play on that play. Got to give Casalaro a lot of credit. He replaced Christian Basilino, who was a terrific player last year. He's wrestling on Bucknell, and he did a great job, and he has Hanover Park off to a 5-0 and start. We haven't been 5-0 and in a long time, and I credit our offensive line. They should be up here having this interview right now because they're playing phenomenal.